So my name is Fabian Gonzalez, and I'm the FBI instructor, uh, the MA program here at the Miramar campus. Here at the Miramar campus, our focus is to train the students in becoming successful MAs once they leave the school and be able to uh, obtain employment and have a meaningful career. So today we're going to be talking about the heart. Actually, one of the main muscles in your body, the one that controls your circulatory system. As you can see, the heart has four chambers, and we basically divide the heart in four equal, or two, two superior chambers and two inferior chambers. The two superior chambers of the heart, they're the ones in charge of getting blood back into the heart. So blood comes back into the heart using these two top chambers. The medical assistant program here at FBI is like, uh, they focus on hands-on type of training, uh, where we're not only gonna teach you the theory behind or why you need to learn about anatomy and physiology, but we're gonna put it to use, where we can teach you um, when you encounter patients, how you're gonna be able to solve their issues. Now, that blood gets here. This valve, so we're gonna talk about it eventually, that we have, the heart has four main valves. Two valves that divide the atriums from the ventricles. We call this um, atrioventricular valves, and there is two of them. We have the right one and the left one. External respiration is when the blood comes from the heart, gets to the lung, it gets to the capillary beds, and the capillary beds are very close to the alveoli. So our program is dedicated to um, guide the students and help them learn by um, doing more than, than just listening. So for example, when we do the EKG class, we make all the students actually perform EKG. Phlebotomy, we make the students actually perform the phlebotomy procedures, the venipuncture procedures. This is what we refer to as external respiration. Now, that blood, once it gets oxygenated, then it comes back to the heart, and it comes back to the right atrium. From the right atrium, contraction begins, and then the blood gets pushed down to the left ventricle. If you're interested in the medical field, and you're not sure at this point which field or which career you're gonna follow in the medical health industry, I think MA is a great start, because it gives you an overview of everything because the MAs they actually learn how to work the front office, the back office and they work with patients. So not only are you able to give an injection but you also learn how to bill um, insurance companies, how to do coding, how to do filing, how to file claims, how to do referrals. So it kind of gives you an overview of everything that is done in the medical community and then from there if that's not your calling you can still move on and go pursue whatever it is that you like. But at this point, I think it's a great start if you're, if you're looking to venture into this, this field, the medical field.